Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the five things I wish I knew before I started working in human resources. In honor of it being International Women's Day today, this video is in partnership with Ana Luisa. If you're unfamiliar with Ana Luisa, they are a sustainable brand and they have the most beautiful earrings, necklaces, bracelets, literally everything that you may need to complete your jewelry collection, they have it. All of their pieces range from $39 and up making them super affordable in order to keep their jewelry pieces affordable they did eliminate the middleman so they bring jewelry directly to you that way they can get away with not having a luxury markup and i'm so excited because they were kind enough to send me three sets of earrings one of which i'm wearing right now in today's video and i'm literally obsessed with all of the earrings that they sent me the set that i'm wearing right now is called the toda set and it's just a double hoop earring set super gorgeous very dainty and it retails for $75 the next set that they sent me were their gold twist hoops for $59 and these are the VV set and then the third set of earrings that they sent me were the talisman huggy hoops cruise and they retail for $85 I love these pieces because they are so dainty and timeless I can wear them for years to come and they will never go out of style all of their jewelry pieces make great gifts for either a loved one or for yourself because you know sometimes you just have to treat yourself and I'm so excited to share a 10% discount code with you guys so if you use Carmen GI 10 you'll get 10% off your first purchase from Amazon Lisa, or you can just click on the link in the description box to receive your discount definitely check them out you guys because you won't regret it they're super cute and again super affordable and they have dainty pieces they have more statement pieces so whatever your style is you'll definitely find something for you all right so now that I share this amazing brand with you guys and you guys will definitely be checking them out I can jump into today's video the first thing that I wish I knew before starting a career in HR was that it can actually be a very lonely department I don't think a lot of people realize when you go into HR that HR is not the most loved department in a company a lot of people actually hate human resources they view it as useless and don't get me wrong some HR departments and some companies can be useless because of the people that are working in that department but for the most part if you are a good human resource professional that actually cares about making a difference you can sometimes take it personal when people talk badly about the HR department but I've learned over the years that it's okay if not everyone in an organization likes you you are there to do your job and do your best to make a difference in that company and you can't please everyone this goes for literally every aspect of your life it's very hard to have everyone like you and you don't even like everyone so why would you expect to be liked by everyone else you know what I mean so it can be a lonely department but you do establish a really tight group of like co-workers and friends so it's not lonely day to day but in the grand scheme of things not everyone likes the HR department so it can be lonely in that aspect does that make sense the second thing I wish I knew is that it's very important of course to learn and understand the human aspect of human resources but it's also very important to learn the business aspect of human resources you can't have human resources without either or you need both to have a really good human resources department and what i mean by the business aspects of human resources is just understanding budgets understanding the reasoning why certain departments get more employees versus others and just have a really good understanding of what it takes to make a company and business run and once you master those two things you are set and you will have a successful career in human resources the next thing i wish i new before I started a HR career is how to negotiate a salary. I've gotten a lot better over the last couple years and demanding what I deserve but when I first started out in HR I sucked at negotiating salaries. This goes for personal and 
professional life. In my personal life, I was shy, I guess, and I didn't have the balls to demand what I thought I deserved. So oftentimes, at the beginning of my career, I would be overworked for a really crappy salary and those experiences taught me to demand what I deserve and in the business aspect I sucked at negotiating salaries with potential hires for a company because I felt like who am I to argue with what they think they deserve but over the years I've learned that it's important to find a happy medium of course you want to give someone what they deserve but it's also very important to keep in mind what can the company actually afford I've gotten a lot better over the years to negotiate salaries in my personal and professional life and I think that just comes with years of experience and as you get older you stop caring what others may think and you are more sure and confident of yourself so when I go into job interviews now I know exactly what I want for a salary and if they can't meet me someone near the ballpark of that salary then I know it's okay to walk away and wait for another company that can give me what I need and the same will be applied to when I'm extending offers just keeping the new hire in mind and the organization in mind as well the next thing I wish I knew was to know when to walk away and this applies to personal again and professional so in my personal life like I mentioned earlier in the video in my early years of my HR career I did overwork myself a lot for a really crappy salary thinking that the organization needed me and without me it will fall apart and the truth of the matter is that everyone is replaceable i know it sounds harsh and some people don't like hearing that but literally everyone is replaceable within a company so i've learned that if i'm not happy within a organization that it's okay to walk away from that organization and go on to find something that does bring me joy yes of course your manager who you may have had a close relationship with may get upset or feel betrayed but at the end of the day if they care about you and they care about your well-being then they'll be okay with you walking away to find something that better suits you and by the same token in the professional hr aspect of it I think it's very important to learn to walk away from situations when you've done everything that you could and if the employee is still unhappy with the outcome there's only limits to what an HR professional can do within a organization so learning to walk away is a valuable lesson that I've learned and honestly I don't think I could have learned that prior to entering a career in HR a lot of these things you just learn as you go and you learn with the more years of experience that you get and the last thing that I wish I knew is that hiring managers will be difficult regardless of what you do as a HR business professional regardless of the company that you work for the industry that you work for don't take it personal i've learned that the hard way i think i used to get it a lot in the beginning stage of my hr career and i still get it now i have a baby face and i people always think that i'm still in college or i'm fresh out of college whenever like I either get into an uber i start a new job people always think i'm way younger than i actually am i'm turning 27 this year <sighs> so i do have a number of years of experience under my belt it's been a few years since i've graduated from college and of course when people first meet me they don't know that so i find that hiring managers like to test my knowledge by being difficult or by being quite frankly a smart ass with me and I've learned to just let my work do the talking I really don't have anything to prove to anyone I value the work that I do and I know that I'm a hard worker and that I get shit done so I've learned to just let the results do the talking and eventually the hiring managers will know what I'm capable of and that I am excellent at what I do sometimes even if you have great results hiring managers can still be difficult so don't take it personal be patient take a deep breath just know that you're not the only hr business professional dealing with difficult hiring managers and not all of them are difficult some of them are super sweet and value everything that hr does but it's only normal to have one or two in the mix that makes your days very 
difficult. Just be patient and keep doing what you do. Keep showing great results and you'll be fine. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about HR and hopefully my experiences will guide you and you won't make the same mistakes that I did. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. I love everything that they stand for and their pieces are such high quality, so beautiful. Don't forget about my discount code to get some money off your purchase and i'll have all the information linked in the description box so you guys can check it out and if you enjoy this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my little community here on youtube and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys